Grandpops, this is Sky Smith. We met last year in New York. Sky Smith, what a beautiful name. How do you do, my dear? Hello, Mr. O'Neill. You watch this old guy. <laughs> Come, uh, get in touch with that wheeler dealer fellow from New York. What's his name? Uh, Ross Nelson. Yes. Yeah. Do you know him? No, no, I don't. Only from the newspapers. <laughs> going? I thought you were spending the night with me, Shane. I think it's better that I go. I'm sorry I ruined it for you. Look, it, it doesn't matter. Honestly, it doesn't. It does matter. Well, tonight finally proves that you can't make it with me because you're in love with someone else. I think you're a bastard for using me the way you have. I haven't used you. No? There have never been any strings attached to our relationship. That's the way you wanted it. Because I knew that was the way it had to be. I'm only an outsider, not part of the exclusive and incestuous Hart and O'Neill plans. I'm sorry we're parting on such a bad note. I'm curious about one thing, though. What makes you come crawling back to my bed all the time, all hot and bothered and raring to go? And the only one you really want is Paula. Didn't she fancy one of the clan? It was good enough for Winston and Emily and now Antony and Sally. So what's so different? Oh, Shane, I didn't mean that. Hello, Sky. Hello, Emily. Hello. Hello. We're in the elevator. Hello, Shane. Hello, Sky. It's all fixed, Shane. You're booked on my Concord flight tomorrow. Great, thanks, Mr. I couldn't believe it when you called and said you were moving back to England. Uh, a sudden decision. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, anyone like a drink? We've got to get back to the apartment. I booked the table for 8 o'clock, so we'll see you both later. Mm. Right. It's all right. We'll see ourselves at the door. Bye. 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 See you later. Bye. What's happened? I thought I couldn't bear to be near her. The truth is, I can't bear not to be near her. I'm going to miss you, Shane. You've been such a good friend to me these last months. Oh, we've helped each other to limp along, haven't we? I'm very grateful to you, Sky. I'll be commuting every few weeks. I'll call you when I come back. Thank you. But try not to worry. I'm sure everything's going to work out with you and Ross. But your divorce is final now. I thought we were going to get married. Wishful thinking on your part. And what about Jennifer? What about her? She's your child, Ross. Ah, but is she? I've never been too sure of that. She's the spitting image of you. And there's the blood test. Anyway. You know I haven't looked at another man for the past four years. Oh? You've been looking at one lately? Shane O'Neill. Since you're sleeping with him, I suggest you lead him to the altar. I'm not having an affair with Shane. <laughs> All right. I did go to bed with him in London once, but it didn't work between us. Shane's in love with someone else. He's not available. Neither am I. Why? Because I don't love you. You don't turn me on anymore. <gasps> this is for you, for the child. You receive the same amount every month through my lawyer. I don't want it. I can support our child. <gasps> I don't need your money. It's only you I want. That's too high a price for me. 